Howdy. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to go over how to do certain effects with token magic, uh, as well as utilizing it with MIDI quality of life and dynamic active effects. So for this one, we're going to use an example of the, the spell Disguise Self. Uh, one of the people in my group uh, uses it all the time because he gets into a lot of trouble. So he uses it to kind of help try and get away in you know precarious situations. So <clears throat> we're going to do this just from the top down. Uh, so I have just a character uh, from this campaign that has no spells. So we are going to go, um, and then just to show you the, the modules that we're going over today. So we're going to be looking at um, dynamic active effects. Um, or sorry, dynamic effects using active effects. Um, the SRD is good to have in case you need it for additional things. Uh, as well as we're going to be using token magic FX and MIDI quality of life and I passed it and then MIDI quality of life so to get set up in the settings you're gonna have to do a couple things with the MIDI quality of life uh, so mainly in the very very last setting in the workflow settings uh, down at the very 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 bottom I'll kinda slow roll this if you want to kinda see kinda what I do for the things that I have set up Uh, at the very, very bottom, you have to have add macro to call on use. You have to have this enabled or this this won't work. So uh, once you check that and you save settings, you're good to go. Uh, you don't have to do anything in token magic. Uh, pretty much everything is pretty much all set up and ready to go. Um, and yeah, but yeah I, don't, I don't mess with anything in token magic. And uh, I didn't mess with anything in, in dynamic active effects. So that's all you got to do for that. So to get started with this, we will uh, go to our spells. We will get disguise self, and we'll throw it in her spell book. Obviously, she doesn't have any spells, so we'll we'll give her at least a one. We'll give her we'll give her a couple spells so that way we can if we need to show it multiple times we can. Uh, definitely don't need thirty though. All right, and then we got three. Okay, so um, typically what I'll usually do, especially if I want to create an effect on something. So once you put the item in the game, you can't you can't edit it, you can't add anything. So typically what I'll do is I'll just move it over to I'll use it just to make like a spells category, and I'll move something into it, and then you can edit it and add any effects that you want to that you want to do. So um, I usually just start at the top and then just do, um, so you could do something like, uh, this is going to be a passive effect, and then you're going to edit the effects. I always like to keep the images the same, so once I get the image pulled up, I'll find whatever the image is, and then I'll copy it, and then I'll paste it into the thing, and then I'll do disguise self. God, I can't spell it this morning. Okay. And you're gonna transfer this effect on actor. Yeah, so it's checked. That's you gotta make sure that's on. Uh, duration, uh, it's gonna be uh, one hour, I believe is how long it, it lasts. Uh, and then you don't really need to add any effect because uh, it's pretty much just kind of based on perception checks and like that, and intelligence checks just to just to see any insight. So I usually don't add any effect to it, but it's mainly just to get the to get the icon to pop up. Um, and then once that's done, uh, you'll have a new you'll have a new effect that will pop up on the character when they use it. So once that's done, I just re-add the disguise self spell back to myself, and I will go into the spell into the details, and I will call on use a macro, and I'll call it a uh, uh, disguise self, and then I'll make sure that's the exact same spelling of what I'm going to be doing here in a minute. So. Once that's on, uh, you're going to get. You're going to go to Token Magic. You're going to go into the macros. Um, I have mine in Compendium folder, so mine's are situated a little differently. But uh, you're going to look for the Token Magic Portfolio macro. This is going to be the thing where you're going to get a lot of the good effects. Um, so two big effects that you're going to want from this is delete filters on selected, so that you can remove the effect once it's done. And you'll just take that and move that to your macro bar. 
and then near the very, very, very bottom, there's one that says, uh, it's number 36, it's Turn Into Mystery Man Polymorph. And what I do is uh, once I have this effect, I'll, uh, you already saw how it kind of changed right there to kind of spoiler. Um, so I'll remove this name and I'll add my disguise self um, spelling to make sure everything's the exact same. And so what you're going to do is once, once you have this effect, you have to make sure that it's down there like that. And let me prepare this so that way it'll actually show up. And there's that. And then so what I want it to do is I want my character to change her look and to look like something else. So your the image is going to set based on whatever this is in this quotations in this bracket right here. So it's it's icons, mystery man is the default. So I want to use one of my um, images that I've already added in for this to give it a, another look. So I have a lot of characters loaded already. Um, so uh, let's say we want to make her look like this. So I would get uh, this this name, this image path right here. So it's it's icons, SVG, mystery man, like that. So you're going to do worlds like that. And then you're going to take this whole thing right here. Make sure I'm not, yep. You're going to take this whole block right here and you're going to remove get this, you're going to copy this, and you're going to remove this, make sure it's in quotations, and then paste, and then you're going to save it, and then what I like to do too, because I like everything to be kind of uniform, is I'll get the, that, that disguise self image again once I get, uh, I get my macro in, and then I'll actually make the macro on the bar um, have the same image because I, li I like everything to look uniform and then now I have a I have an icon on the bottom so uh, let's end the effect and let's skip a skip an hour so we can remove the uh, that effect is not wanting to disable so uh, now that we have that on and we have our character, we will click Disguise Self, and boom, now she's changed to this new uh, new character, and now she has a whole, completely whole new look, and she can kind of blend in and hide in the town. And then once the, uh, once the effect ends, then you can remove it. So to see it in action, so if she's like, okay, I, it's my turn, I'm going to cast Disguise Self on myself, she will click Disguise Self, it'll ask to use a spell slot, uh, it's gonna use a first level spell slot, and then boom, she transforms. And then, uh, since I removed the effect, it won't show it. Uh, but I've also, on my game, I've created a condition for disguise self. It's this one right here. Um, so I, that's typically what I'll use half the time if I don't create the effect. But So if you accidentally delete the effect like I did, then uh, you can do it that way, which I have in my condition lab. Uh, it is just a very... It's just literally the, a, a picture of an eye, and I don't even have any effect on it. I just just made a disguise self, just to just to show a condition, just to designate. Okay, oh wait, I forgot your transforms. So that way, I don't forget. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can use this for a lot of different things. You can pretty much use the the um, the call macro in the MIDI quality of life to do a lot of different effects. Uh, I currently have it set up to do. Um, I had another one with uh, mirror images with another unit, another character, and then I have another one. So whenever they cast a mage armor, that it'll do like a, a little mini aura around them. And uh, my absolute favorite is mirror images. I just love the way this one looks. I think it looks great. I also have um, I have it set up on mine that uh, whenever someone does like curing effects, I have this macro that I got from one of the patrons. It was the uh, which uh, pretty much anyone can get his module. It's the, uh, I think, I don't, have, I don't think I have it loaded right now, but uh, it's the uh, uh, J2B, um, the Jewels and Ben Animated Assets. Uh, you can you can get pretty much every one of these, uh, or sorry, that's that's a Eldritch Splash icon, but, um, but uh, everybody can get these four 
projectiles. So I don't, uh, I don't have anything. I think I have a character up here that I can use as an example. Uh, I think there's one in this room up here. That's uh, small child. So uh, they do, uh, they do uh, various effects. That's like a fireball. That's like kind of like a magic missile or a, a eldritch blast, and then like a lightning bolt, and then a curing effect. So every time I have cure wounds, I actually have the um, I have this effect activate when I do cure wounds. So or any any healing spells, I have that effect going on, and then like fire bolts, I do I do this one for like fire bolt and different ones like that. But that's pretty much it for um, setting up a macro for something like Disguise Self and being able to like kind of polymorph your character. So I mean, you can literally use anything you want. Um, there's also a bunch of different effects, which is kind of cool. Um, so if you don't like that ripple effect, there are uh, there's nine other little simple transitions that will show you something different. Like um, uh, and the, like what you do is you change this number right here. So like if you want it to be hologram. So you would change it to nine, and then save the macro, and then I'll end the effects, and then so now it altered that way. So I mean, there's there's so many, there's at least nine different effects that you can switch back and forth to to create the effect. But I think it just adds a little bit extra kind of flavor to it when you can actually see their token kind of change. So I actually have my uh, person, in my party, he is a tiefling. And he likes to do his disguise self all the time, so I told him to get me like four or five images of things that you would want to change into, and I'll make tokens for him. So that way, when you do it, and I'll I'll do separate bars to uh, change it up. I'm either you can either do um, I don't think you could do like the wild card image. I'll have to test it. I, I haven't tested that honestly to see if you can do it like wild card, or you can do um, where you can set up a token to uh, pull from a folder. Um, cause I, I do that with my commoners because, you know, I hate using the same image for commoners. So I have like a male and a female section. And so like every time I pull out a commoner, it'll bring out, you know, a different image. And then I have mine set. So it automatically names them too. Uh, so I have, uh, I have it set up that way. I'll, I'll make a video showing you how to set that up at some point. Um, but, uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and uh, you have a good day.